Hey y'all, it's Tracy from Mindless Crafting and the old. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? We're back again. You got a double dose of us on Monday. So it's a great time to be back. Now, I have to apologize because I thought we'd be able to release our digital stamp and we won't, but we won't be able to do it until tomorrow. So tomorrow is our Tuesday uh, live at 12 noon. Um, that's when we'll release the digital and we're going to have a sale for y'all as well. But I did want y'all to have a sneak peek at what, what's to come. So um, I need to show y'all what, what, what this stamp set, what I made using this. One of the images on this, that, on this stamp set. So let's see who's here. Bertha Bless Wilson is back. Bertha Bless Wilson? Roxanne Marlowe is here. Sonia Creel. Marlene Watts. Yep. Delphine Montano. Deb C, she's on time this Deb time. C, what? Hey, Deb. It can't be. Yeah, so for those of you that are coming in, we, we just didn't have the digital stamps. They're not ready yet, the images. So, um, but they're, they'll be ready tomorrow at 12 noon uh, Eastern during our regular schedule live. However, I do have some cards that I made. So I thought I would give you a sneak peek. I don't think we've ever done that before. No, we never have. But in light of the situation here, <laughs> we figured we'd go ahead and give you a sneak peek at what is on that digi stamp. Super adorable. I think you're ready. <laughs> ah, Celeste. Oh, someone said, welcome to Celeste. Charlene is in the house. She's from Illinois. Okay, so let me show you. Bill, are you ready? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just... Should I go ahead and show them? I think so. It's up to you. So, y'all, look at, look at this, y'all. Look at, this is one of the image. I've always wanted to do a little love bug. <laughs> this is one of the images on this digi stamp. And I'm just so, I'm, I just love that little car. I love it, love it, love it. And it says, in light of everything that's going on, I felt like I needed something like this that says keep moving because we're going through everyone's going through a lot right now but i had to i told bill i said i just woke up one morning and i was like i need to make something that's kind of like what we're going through right now and so keep moving came to me um so we had to definitely have keep moving look at that and checking on your neighbor is a good thing zooming by to say hi now, this one has, how many images are on this one, babe? How many PNGs? 15. This is going to have 15 PNG images on it. Um, so there's going to be a lot go, that goes with this digital stamp set. And we are going to start our sale tomorrow on all the digitals. So it's going to be a nice sale. We'll, we're going to start that at about 12 noon. When we come live tomorrow, 12 noon on Tuesday. Uh, Eastern. I am in love with this stamp set. I could not have had, but I really like coloring. I wish I could have had it ready, but it was. Yeah, Bill just couldn't was, do it. Yeah, I want. I like to make sure everything is right, so I quadruple check, and I just didn't have time to do all the checks that I wanted to. This, you know what? Um, Sonia Creel is right. She said those make nice cards uh, and thank you cards. And just because cards too. Yeah, just because, right? Just zooming by to say hi, especially now with all of this social distancing, we can still stay, like keep connected, you know? So let me show you the other one that I did. Here's the other one. And remember the nice thing about these is that you can um, size them the way you want. So you see how that is? Aren't these little, I had so much fun doing this. I feel like I want to show y'all how I color. And of course, color. you know I like the blue one since blue is my favorite color. 
It's kind of an aqua blue. Yeah. Yeah, for real? <laughs> I know, Carrie Woods. We've been here twice in one day. So this is the new uh, stamp set. Um, and it's called... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Huh? Yet. I thought it was called Keep Moving. Okay, that's then it's now called Keep Moving. <laughs> Keep Moving. Now, y'all, I look. Let me show you what I do with the windows on this. You see that? Let's see if you can see it better on there. I'm not sure. It's getting darker outside, so I'm not sure if you can see that. It is not now. Just in case you're thinking it's a an automobile. I know, right? <laughs> set it's actually not. Keep moving is really a good name for it. Keep moving, zooming by to say hi. I mean. We're socially distancing ourselves. I had um, the other the other day. I dropped some um, toilet paper over <laughs> at my neighbor's house. Like we found a big pack, and so we gave her one because she yeah. hasn't. She's you know she hasn't been able to get and out. Hopefully she got it. One of the neighbors so, walking down the street. He said, "What toilet I just, paper?" <laughs> I just put a little note on it, you know, from your neighbor because you know I just felt it in my heart that I needed to do that. So there's so many different ways that even though we're distancing ourselves we could still stay connected so i want to color in this car i i really do i want to color this in let's see I, i'm going to color that in in a moment but let me show you one of the other images that's going to be on here so y'all can see so much you can do with this uh let's see Ooh, let me see i guess i'll show this one huh all right what do you think Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. This is also on there. Now, the reason why I wanted to do an envelope with the hearts in it is because sending a little love your way. I think we can all use a little bit of love right now. There you go. Just a little bit of love right now. I think we can all use it. So um, that's why I thought this would be a nice one. So you look at the sizing on there. I'm going to have so much fun adding these to my card. Let me see what y'all are saying. Uh, let's see. What you... Oh, thank you. She said you were being the perfect neighbor. Isn't this cute? And the thing is, you can cut these out. You can color them in. I have so many of these that I'm going to work with. I can't wait to send show these in cards. Look at the look how big these are. So I just did them in different sizes, and I thought, you know, I slipped this in your neighbor's uh, mailbox or something for someone. Send them a little love your way. I just felt like I just felt like I needed to do that. So I got to drawing, y'all. John didn't do these. I did these. <laughs> And then Bill cleaned them up for me. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. In yes. light of everything that's going on, I'm going to draw my own images this time. And I'm going to do it my own way, you know? Yes, Jessica. It is another digital stamp release. But the release is going to be done tomorrow. And the discount is going to be great. Oh, thank you. Jessica said, well done, Tracy. I got to just, it just felt, I just felt in my heart that I needed to create something. And so this is what was one of the things that I got up and I said, Bill, I'm going to do my own stamp set, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm super proud of myself for giving it a try. I can't wait, well, wait, see. wait to y'all yes. see what y'all do with this. Right. You see the stitching around the envelope, right? right? You, know, you can tell <laughs> she did it because it has stitches. You know, on. that was mine. Okay. <laughs> So I thought this would be cute. And remember, you can, I actually didn't layer this right, but still, you see how you can actually put your words, You can, I can drag them in and, and resize them and make them really small and fit them on the envelope too. That's one of the other things about the digital stamp. But this is just a few of the things that are going to be on there. I can't wait to show y'all what else. Yes, right? Jessica, this is part of the digital stamp release. It's mm -hmm. one of the 15 images that's going to be part of that set release that's taking oh, yes. place tomorrow jessica jessimica <laughs> you are going to love working with these look at that yeah the whole set is in great it's, it's going to be fantastic these glossy accents y'all are going to be able to do so much with these but i think i need to shade since i'm doing my shading 
I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Which one? The car? Or I'm going to do it. Show them how I did the car. You're going to have to do a red since Martin. No, you don't. Marjorie doesn't need red. Pick another color. Green or something. I have. This one is greenish. Let's see. Uh, what color should we do? Bill, don't be good. I'm trying to practice on my shading. I know. I'm oh, asking. what about the purplish one? Um... Oh, great. With the Kathy Champion markers. Let's see. Let's see. Vivian King says purple would be pretty. Linda purple Pryor, would be purple. pretty. Purple would be pretty, right? Kate Crazy or blue. I'm a blue man, so Kate Crazy and I are in the same. Okay, so I got the these are those nouveau markers that come like that three. What's those? A three in a pack. Yeah. Three colors that are similar. Mm -hmm. Make a design for blending. Great for blending, but I could still do it with my other markers too. Oh, oh yes. These nouveaux. This is what I've been doing. Like I've been going back and forth with these and the other markers. So they're both alcohol markers. So I'm going to take that lighter color. I'm going to take this color right here. These are Palma Violets. I don't know if y'all use these. I'm still new to using these. So let me go ahead and zoom in so y'all can really get up close to my hands. Hey, Barbara Lang, how are you? Let's see. Is that too close? Closer. <laughs> Closer. No, that's pretty good because you can see the blending process. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to do with this. Make some space here. Let me roll up my sleeves, okay? Sounds like bullwinkle. <laughs> roll up my sleeves. Okay. And you never, you were always wondering what he was so going to pull out with, after that. I'm starting with my light, this lighter color. So I'm going light, medium, dark. So I'm going to lay down my color with just the, um, with the light first. And this has the dual brush too so you can you could use this wider one too but for some reason i just always feel like i have better control using this yes i decided to draw my own stamp set the first one and john and i john who's our artist we were actually on the phone yesterday being socially distant exactly and um i told him exactly what i wanted he sketched out some things. We called each other back and forth. He took pictures of it, sent it to me. So we're still getting it done. <laughs> and he came up with a great, um, great stamp set, uh, some more designs. So I'm really, so I told him, I said, look, John, we got to be socially distant, you know? Stop it, Bertha. Y'all need to get know, on that news. Bertha. Bertha, stop watching the news. Bertha can't stop. <laughs> She's trying. She just can't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this other color here. and I'm going to just go in and lay down a little bit more color around the edges. Right? <coughs> just around these edges here. Don't be looking back at me, Greg. And to me, this one looks dark. But it still, should still work out fine. I think Sonia Creels watched this glued to the t news stations too. So right around here, I want it to be darker, but not too dark because the tire is already dark. Okay. In today's world, the way we're watching the news, they would call us responsible citizens. In yesterday's world, they would call us couch potatoes. Okay. Now I'm going to take my lighter color, and this is how, this is how I blend it, you know. Take my lighter color, and that actually ends up... I like the alcohol markers. They actually lift the color up a little bit. And that's where the blending takes place. It's like it can just drag it right out. So you see that blending taking place there? 
not really on there, but just lifts the color just a little bit more here. So y'all are going to see me getting better at blending because I'm still learning. Barbara says, thank you, Tracy, for the beautiful card you sent. I love it. Thank you for praying for me and my family and friends. Oh, you're so welcome. Remember, he, she's like you, Tracy. She says, I refuse to watch the news. I mean, I watch it every so often, but I try not to like, um, I just can't get caught up in it because then I can't create these beautiful cards. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. My mind needs to be a certain way in order for me to create some nice cards, you know? You got to get in the zone here. Joan Gilbertson, she's on a break. Hey, Joanne, I'm Take glad you were able to... Joanne's at the hospital, too. Oh, yes. Please, Joanne. She's uh, working on the front lines, I think. We're praying for you, Joanne. But more than ever, I guess we should say thank you for your service, really. That's what it is. It's like being a, a you're on the front lines of the war. You're right, Ron. Ron Marquis says practice makes perfect. I'm makes getting progress there. with those markers. I'm really getting there. So I'm seeing how they kind of work. I'm not going in with the darker color yet. I still feel like I need to add something oh, uh, right around P's here. On here. Triple P? Yes. <laughs> Everybody's got nicknames, right? Sonia calls a 3P. Purple Paisley Planner. Oh, so she would love Pick this. Pick a peck of pickle peppers. So yeah, Bill is still getting the um, images ready for y'all uh, for the digital, for this release. Um, so I was like, when he said he, he that it wasn't going to be ready, I was like, why not? Exactly. <laughs> it's 15 images. And you know how I am. I have to make sure everyone yeah, everything, absolutely... everything Yeah, it has to be perfect. Has to be perfect. Can't blame him for that. And y'all deserve a good product too. So. so you see what I'm doing? It's almost like the color is too Ooh. dark, but I still lift it a little bit. I do. Hi, Maria Gonzalez. Hello from New York City. Oh, hello, Maria. I hope you're doing and pray you're doing well up there, Maria. You guys are really in the trenches right now. And the whole country's watching. Where's Austin, Maria? Austin. Maria, are you from Manhattan? Are you like right in the heart of the city? So I'm going in with a medium color again. Still haven't laid down my dark color yet. I'm going to I'm going to wait on that one. So, I noticed that with blending, it's a process. You know, it's not like everything's going to look the way you want it. You just kind of keep laying down the colors and then blending them in a little bit, laying down color and blending them in. Kind of take a a look back at it and say, oh, "Okay, that needs a little bit more color." So that's what I've been doing. Hold on, Sonia Creole, you from the Bronx? The Bronx? Sonia, you uh -uh. from the Bronx? I used to live in the Bronx. Oh, no, Bronx Maria's City. from the Bronx. Oh, Maria's from the Bronx. <laughs> uh, I, used to, I used to work and live in the Bronx. Lived I'm, in Co-op City and lived on Pelham Parkway. Now, obviously, we're praying for the entire world, but some places are really getting hit. And you know, Bertha Bless Wilson, I, my prayers go out for you too. Uh, per, she's from Bertha's from Detroit, everybody. My kind of my stomping grounds. And Detroit, their numbers quadrupled it, uh, almost overnight. So, okay. Maria says Pelham Parkway. What? Is the riding stable? I used to walk on that path over there um, with my daughter Chelsea. I was trying to lose my weight during um the time when i had gave birth to my oldest daughter and so i would take her stroller and go out on that path helen parkway great memories there jess mc says barbara streisand is from the bronx That's another one of my favorite singers, too. Sonny Creel is from New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey? Are. I went to um, school in New Jersey. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to take I'm going to take this darker color um, and I'm going to go in and highlight some of the, so some of the areas will uh, stand out a little bit more. So let's see. 
I'm going to go right just, just a, around the base here because I like outlines on my stuff when I color. Just right along here, not too much, but I do like the outlines. Naomi Custodia was born in the Bronx. Naomi, really? I used to work at uh, Francis Martin Library in the Bronx. I was a librarian there. Um, actually, I was an information assistant there, and then I went to get my degree uh, to become a librarian. So I love New York. New York paid for my master's degree to become a librarian. Marissa says, New York is a city I want to visit one day. Oh, my goodness. You'd love it. You know, Bertha, I, okay, obviously I'm from a relatively small city, Saginaw, Michigan, and the, what I thought was a large city was Detroit. I used to say, oh my God, Detroit is so big. And when I was in college, I had a chance to go to, to New York City. I Huge, was right? floored. <laughs> it made Detroit seem like a village. It was so, the city, it was just incredible, the size. And, and it, I remember it's four o'clock in the morning, and the and the streets were packed as if it's broad daylight. Jessica says she's afraid to go to New York. You mean now or before? Just as a regular basis, you would love it. It was phenomenal. It's something to see for real. Uh oh, Sabrina has been making pound cakes and sending them to work with her daughter for the people at Henry Ford. Maria Sabrina Gonzalez. I go eat those pound cakes and not want to work. They're gonna be so good. Yep, New York. Loved it. I was. I love the fact you can get to a Broadway show like just. And it, it really, it really is the city that never sleeps, <laughs> for real. Okay, so I'm just blending this out. Bye, Ron. Ron has to go make some egg salad. Oh, save me some. Yummy. Kate Crazy from New Jersey, also. Oh, New Jersey. Yeah, that's my other. That's my other stomping ground Your back whole in the day. Was New Jersey. <laughs> stomp, the whole area was just Well, I went there. to I went to college in New Jersey. Well, that's Who's from New Jersey? What part? Let was? me see. Margie will oh. K Crazy is from New Jersey. What part of New Jersey? I went to school in New Brunswick. Barbara Lang says, has anyone heard that all AC Moore stores are going out of business and oh. literally 90% off? They have stuff for one cent and stuff like that. Only two more weeks and that's it. Are they allowed to even be? Is it some? Oh, okay. Is it related to all this? I hope not. Oh, my goodness. Vicki Jensen, she says, hi, y'all. I'm late. Vicki. You're late. Philosophy. You're late. <laughs> no, that's crazy philosophy. <laughs> I would say you're never late. You're right on time. Yeah, Vicky, this is a preview of our newest uh, digital stamp. And so we're really excited about this. This it's, is going to be released tomorrow. It's only a few images. It's not all of them, but by any means. So yes, I'm just kind of blending this out with my... Um, a sneak peek. Yeah. And you just have to be careful going towards the edges. I noticed when you use the alcohol markers, they kind of bleed out. And I wasn't careful with my edges. But it still looks great. This is going on the card. <laughs> Kate Crazy says, Taurus by Clark. Huh? Clark. Tour is there some place in New Jersey by called Clark? Towards by Clark. Hmm. I don't remember like I used to. I've been in Georgia since... Uh, since. How about that? I know, right? What, what city were you in? In New Jersey? New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Rutgers University alumni. 
in the house. <laughs> okay, so that little flower right there is super adorable. So I am going to have to put a little bit of that right in the middle. And then we got the hearts on the tires. Look how cute. And then we got these itty bitty flowers behind it. Instead of like smoke, I thought it would be nice to put flowers there. Y'all see that? Look at look at look how cute. You did <laughs> that really well. Okay, and then thanks, babe. Let's get our um, we got the pink. Let's go in with this little bit of greenish blue like. And we're going to go, who says my flower can't be a little green on here, huh? No, no one. one. The, 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 craft, <laughs> the crafting police. The crafting police said it. Karen Hogren says the Arizona governor just set the shelter in place order for their state. Mm. About time. That's what she says. Is that what I feel said? like that too, Karen. I mean, I feel like there's no need to wait. That... Yeah, we got to get this thing under control. Yeah, there's no way it's going to, yeah. you know. Yep. Just kill it. Every, every state, just bam. Do it and get it out over with. So there we go, y'all. Look how cute. Let me show, let y'all, for those of you that are just tuning in. Hi, Selena Stevens. Imagine doing these in all of the colors of the rainbow. Selena Stevens, Tracy. Look at this. Is just tuning in from Australia. Hey, Selena. We are... Going to release this digital stamp tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern, and there's going to be a sale on all the digitals. So, so said, we have about this might be eight digitals, right? She says, Ooh, eek, that car too cute, isn't it cute? And I, I drew my own stuff this time, y'all. I drew it myself. Can you tell how happy I am? Super proud of myself. Look at that. Here's the other some of the other images. It's a sneak peek, so I can't show you everything, but at least you get to see what's on here. Oh my god. And this was in light of everything that's going on, you know, sending a little love your way. You know, we can all use a card. I think this would be nice to send a card to one of your friends or something, or just hand to a neighbor. Or well, not hand it to the neighbor, but just kind of you gotta be socially distant, but just maybe leave it somewhere so someone can get to it, you know. Tracy, Barbara Lank said some lady has a video on here where she spent $1,600 at AC Moore. And because of the discount, she only ended up paying $46. Wow. She showed a receipt. It had hundreds of craft stuff. She probably couldn't even fit all that stuff in her house. <laughs> it's like my craft room getting ready to burst. Okay. She bring that much stuff, stuff in her house. The next week, she's going to be showing her divorce papers. Get out. Yes, I thought. Uh, Angela Thomas says, I need that digital. It'll be available tomorrow. I love coloring buggies in. Oh, uh, Deb C says, you have a creative license, so don't worry about the crafting police. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Darlene Cave. So I just sized these the way I wanted them. I sized these on, but don't be afraid of the digitals. I know some people are kind of like, mm, not sure about the digital. Angela digitals, Thomas says, don't be I afraid. need that digital. <laughs> yes, you do, Angela. And tomorrow it's going to be a deep discount because we want people to get this in their hands. Yeah, and we we're, yeah, we're going to put all the all the digital the entire digital collection will be on uh sale tomorrow starting at 12 noon Eastern. When we we're going to come live on, anyway. We haven't decided exactly how deep the discount is, but it's going to be pretty deep because people have a cabin fever. You know. Yeah, we figured, hey, you still got to create something, right? Yeah. <laughs> Barbara, Barbara's too funny. So this is a digital stamp set, Barbara. Y'all are funny. So I guess y'all love little buggies just like I do. I guess y'all do, huh? And for those of you that didn't tune in earlier with us, this was the card that I did 
earlier, which was that braided technique. So we did this earlier today. Isn't this cute? I'm super proud of these. And these are so much easier than you think. So that was in the video that we did today, the live stream that we did earlier today. Isn't he a sweetheart though? What do we have for dinner? We haven't had dinner yet. We're doing a later dinner. Um, we're gonna actually, I guess after we go for, after dinner, we're gonna go for a walk. I, could, I shouldn't have said that too loud. Thank goodness my dog didn't hear that word. We're gonna go for a W-A-L-K. <laughs> Vicky, isn't this the cutest? I can't wait to see what y'all create. Um, the sale is going to start tomorrow on the digital stamp sets, and it's going to go till Friday. Mm -hmm. So it'll start tomorrow, and it will go till Friday. These are going to be PNG files. You guys, I've had to get creative. I, I can't find hand sanitizer, so... When I wash my hands, I've been using aftershave. Hmm. It has alcohol. Oh, Karen says, will we ever make our uh, stamps into SVGs? You know what? I need to look into that. I've Bill's been talking been, about that for the longest. We've been talking about that. Now is a good time because I ain't nothing else to do but stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Jessica says, I need to get some printer ink. Sineda, she says, aftershave, yes. I don't know. Sineda, I have I no idea. I use soap, but I need more stuff. I don't see. He's putting all kind of, he just throwing all kinds of stuff out there. People took all the antiseptic bacterial stuff. So I know they say soap do it, but. Oh, they said, what are we having for dinner? Okay, so Barbara Lang says she's having uh, lasagna. Bill and We're I are going to, to I made, I was, I gave him the choice. Do you want lasagna or fried chicken? Which I already knew the answer to that. Yeah. So I made some <laughs> fried chicken, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm not supposed to have it, but with Tracy's fried chicken, have you ready to just slap people up and down the street? I was ready to run down the street just start grabbing people. No, you because, but you have to be socially distant. <laughs> That's the only reason why I didn't do it. Why you didn't do it. They're loving this. So I'm so oh, glad y'all like this. This was my first time doing my own stamp, okay? Samantha, she's... Jessica said she has a few uh, sanitizers from the Dollar Tree. What? And you actually, you didn't find them recently, though. I wouldn't think. Samantha, prayers. She lost her brother-in-law yesterday. Oh, oh. Wow. Sineda, everyone is from my neck, my part of the world, Saginaw, Michigan. Karen says we deserve a treat now and then. Look, <laughs> he said you deserve a treat. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. That's why we're gonna be walking later if it if the rain holds off, because it's really it's yucky out right now. So y'all, we will see you tomorrow. There's gonna be did you say 15? It's 15 images. Did I come up with that many? Yes. I got on a creative, a creative roll. Now the 15 images it also yeah. include the um the sentiments. Yes, but it's yeah. still a lot, trust me. When you're yeah. editing, like micro editing, like I'm doing. Oh, Sineda said her husband, my husband and I are in quarantine. So she lost her brother oh, to, to, to Corona, Sineda? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Zanita. We're praying for you. It, it, Everyone is affected by this. And and um whether whether we realize it or, or not, this shows how much we are all are really connected. Zanita, that happened in Saginaw. Yeah. I know we are. Yeah. So much going on right now. That's why we like to come on live and maybe have a few laughs because you can get so caught up in this that, you know, anxiety and depression and all those oh, things start to set neighbor. in. So, so maybe we're praying for your daughter. 
Yeah, we're praying for so everybody for, oh for all of you. We just, you know, we just gotta uplift our crafty family and keep all of you in our prayers. Uh, me and Bill may come on and and uh, and laugh with you a little bit and maybe give you some inspiring words, but you know. It, it, and just a, know that we're praying for y'all and we're thinking about y'all. And that's another reason why we're coming on more than, no, than usual. It's not just to, to flood the airwaves just for the heck of it. We feel like, you know, even if we come on for a few moments, maybe that, that we can't do anything else, maybe we can do that, you know. It just makes right, and it just keeps us connected, too. Yeah, everybody is going to be is is going to be affected by this. Oh, man, you know? son, your Creole prayers about you, too. Prayers go to everyone. Yeah. Where do Ter you buy your digital? Oh, the digital stamps are going to be on. Hold up. I'll put the link. But don't go buy them right now. We make My the digital stamps. They're going to be um, in our Mindless Crafting store, mindlesscrafting.com. I'll put some um, the link. So just so you know. I'm reading your comments right now. We do need some fun, you know, because we may come on YouTube, um, you know, just regularly, but it keeps us connected too. It keeps me and Bill, because y'all like family. Y'all like family. So just wanted y'all to know that. I hope y'all really, truly know how much we love and appreciate y'all. And everybody's going through it in some form of fashion, but together we can get through this. Deb C says, I so appreciate it. I'm stuck at home alone. So this uh, interaction is wonderful to me. It's a wonderful way for us to connect. I mean, you hear so many things about social media and online, but I like the fact that I can use it and actually have a platform, a positive platform whether it was just to inspire y'all or to create something or to do something that's not perfect because I don't do perfect. So I just like the fact that I could come on here and do something with y'all. Exactly. Now, Terry Phillips, I just put in where those stamps are at. But like I said, don't go and get, you can go to Dave and get them if you want, but there is going to be. But this one will be in there tomorrow a, with the discount. The discount on all the digital stamps that yeah. we have in this store. So it is, it's going to go down at 12 noon. <laughs> Look, Karen Hogger said, if anyone ever wants to do a Zoom conference meeting, let me know and I'll set up a day and time. Oh, that's so sweet. You see, I'm just like, there's a lady in the group also. She's doing like, I've seen some people doing the face mask. So we have a lot of people doing the face mask for the um for for hospitals around their community, for nursing homes. It's just... So Karen, were you a social worker or... Uh... We're professionals. Vicky Jensen, the envelope with hearts. Yes, these envelope with the hearts are also going to be. These are going to be in the uh, store as well. This this is part of digital stamp too. Oh, Bertha Bless Wilson. She said, "I like that Tracy and Bill. Oh, that you're coming on more often." As we, As go, we through, go through these, through this, this rough, rough patch. patch. And this too shall pass. Yep. Yeah? We just have to get through it. Yep. Yeah? That's true. I, I like how you And, and we're going to be different when we come out on the other side, regardless, you know, of how we get through this, regardless of less, like us being connected like this, we're going to get through it, but we're going to be a whole lot different. I think more people, if you notice, a lot of people are stepping up. Heroes are being created everywhere. Everyday people are stepping up and being heroes and saying, I feel helpless, but I don't want you to feel helpless. I want you to know that you still have the power to do something. And, and like what you said, Bertha Bus Wilson, when you said that this too shall pass, it just takes me to uh, something that uh, Governor Cuomo said. He was talking about no matter how it, this, seems, this is actually overwhelming all of this, and it seems like it's never going to end, but just remember in the scheme of things, it's not even like a centimeter of it, it just it's gonna be a fraction. And once and one day it will pass, and then one day it will be well past. But right now we're going through it and, and we just we're we're coming together. 
We have no choice but to come together. Thank you, Maria Gonzalez. She says, very nice channel. Thank you, Maria. Maria, one thing that's different about this channel, yes, it's a crafting channel. We, we, it specializes primarily in paper crafting, but for the most part, I mean, it's, it's very positive. We talk about a lot of things. We try to uh, empower and uplift one another. It's almost like a family. Yeah. I mean, it's always been in us to uplift other people, too. It's not like it's something that we try to do. It's just in you. When it's in you, it's just in you. And and it, I think it even more show, something like this will show, will show more of who you truly are when you go through stuff like this. Because this is big. But God is bigger. Now, Heidi says, hi, Heidi. Holly Lilly's Tracy says, I am new to using digi, digi stamps, and I have a question I'm hoping someone can help me with. But I don't know the question. Oh, what, what, what was the... Um... Well, I'm, I'm thinking she's going to ask the question. Oh, we have three... No, we have some videos. We actually have a whole playlist of videos um, that you can watch that will help. I think we have four. There's four videos in that playlist. Yep. Matter of fact, should I put, should I put the link to that up here? Yes. Uh, uh, Barbara, I'm waiting for, for Heidi's question. Heidi says, when I download a Digi and go to resize it for a card, um, a regular A2 size card, what size should I size the digi to make it fit for the card? Well, if it's the A2 size card and the A2 size card is, um, let me, let me get, let me just get a sample that I have here, right? So if the A2 size card is, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter, then you're going to, the nice thing is, is that when you're resizing, it will show you the measurements. It will show you how how what size your image is. So I try to do mine about this is a, probably about a little less than three inches. So it will show me the dimensions to fit. So everything I want to fit, I want it to fit inside that. Um, as long as it's five and a half by four and a quarter, I'm good. But that's up to you. That's the the beauty of you have that flexibility with this. Because you can size it however you want. Like my images, so like like something like this. Um, this is probably about one and a half inch. I don't know. Something like that. But it shows me in my uh, program. Like I have, um, I have a Mac computer. So on my Mac, when I go into my pages program and pull it in, when I resize, it will show me. Yeah, it will show me what size the image is and I'll have it all lined up. Like all of these, I know that they'll fit an A2 size card when I cut this out because it's much smaller than the A2 size. But I wanted larger envelopes because I already know what I want to do with these. I want it, I already know how I want to put it on my um on my card. So it all depends on how you want to lay out that card. But there are four videos showing you how to make the sizes. And I'm getting ready to put the link up as soon as I get back on. It shows you the border around. Heidi, if you look at the, if you click on the, when it borders your outline, and this is just me explaining, you'll have a border around it. On the, t on the side of the border, when you're scrolling, when you have it in your editing program, you'll see a little tiny box. If you place your cursor on that little box, it'll tell you what size it is. It'll actually tell you. But um, yeah, just go to the... Um, I'm about to do it. To the playlist. Yeah, go to the playlist because those four videos are really helpful. A lot of people have looked at those videos and they were like, oh my goodness, that helps. We're going to put the, um, I'll put the playlist below this uh, video. When we come off, I'll put the, I'll put the playlist to that. Oh, I'm so glad you found us too, Heidi. All right, Bill. Uh, I'm not done. Don't uh -huh. get off. 
can't get out. No, I was going to ask you any, anything you want to say. No, I'm typing this in. Okay, well, there you go. But we'll okay. be back on again tomorrow at 12 noon. Okay, Heidi, I just put the link. So here's the thing. When you get these digital images, I think a lot of people resist the urge <laughs> to watch. Uh, oh, to, 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 you, there's a certain, just a slight learning curve you're going to need to have in order to manipulate these images. But it's very, very easy. Once you get it, you're on a roll, okay? Right. I mean, what happens is people think they download the image and they'll click on it and they think they're just going to start right clicking and printing and it doesn't work like that. You're going to have to use a, an editor, whether it's a free editor like uh, like uh, Google Docs, Open Office, or even something more elaborate like uh, Word, uh, Pages. You have a free programs like Open Office and you have... Uh, LibreOffice, but the bottom line is I know. Look, Dev C very said, <laughs> easy to use. Very easy. Dev said, "Oh, the way Bill teaches in the video is great." Yeah, he's just, wondering how do I ever do this? How do you? Well, teach? I just want people to be able to just if they go through this. I try to make it as easy as pie. Drag and drop. Everyone can do that. Yeah, I was really tickled to death when I saw Bill do the um, the when you did the tutorials. Yeah, because I think you did two. I did one of them for the one for pages, the program that I use, and then he did the I other did three. Threes. Yeah, but he, when he showed me some of the stuff that he was doing, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Yes, Heidi, we sell digitals. We sell, yeah, these are digitals, but we also sell um, photopolymer stamp sets too. So you'll see it on our website. We do both. Let's see what y'all are saying. Oh, they said they were welcoming Heidi to the Crafty family. We have a great family. Seriously, don't we? <laughs> look, Malaya Branch. Look, she said, my son showed me how to color the digis in open office and Google Docs. Oh, yes. I mean, you could really do so much with it. It's amazing. I mean, once you... But Malaya, tell, tell everyone, please. At the beginning, it seems like I don't understand this, but once, once you get it, clicked, you're like, "What?" Tell them how easy it was to operate in in, the, in those uh, programs. Right. Look, you can make your cars. Free programs. You can make your cars as big as you want. Um. Uh, actually, where's who was that on there? What What is her? Who is on Heidi? Heidi, look, Heidi. There's a free digi on there right now. Right. This this butterfly digi. So this is a digital stamp, and I just um, printed out a bunch of them, and I, I sized them the way I wanted to. So imagine what you can do with these. I mean, these are like super fun. I mean, there's so much you can do with those digitals. Matter of fact, Heidi, if you go to that to minuscrafting.com right there on the front page, it, that butterfly she's showing right now is a free download. Right, so go get your free butterfly download. This was really fun. Um, the color, I don't even, I may have sent out all those cards already. Okay, she got it. There you go, Heidi. Yeah. Heidi? <laughs> Girl. You Hi, the chat. The chat is on here. The chat is here. The chat. So you're not working, the chat, are you guys, I think the chat name not working either. I mean, I know the cut, they're, they're, they're on lockdown, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Th Thank Heidi. you, Malia. She's... We try to be helpful. Karen Hogren, thank you, actually, for that information. It's, it's amazing how many people are actually, the emotional distress that people are, are feeling. And you may not be able to see it, or they may not talk about it, but Late at night when they're kind of when everyone else is gone and they're all alone, sometimes yeah. people are really dealing with this. Going thing. through it, yeah. Yeah, man. So so I mean we go we care. go through it too. You know, I, my mom, um, you know, I worry about my mom. You know, my mom is 85 years old, so um 
basically we check on her and make sure that she's okay. But I don't, I really want to stay uh, distant from my mom just because, you know, so we're really, we make sure that she has everything that she needs. Uh, Bill and I went over there this weekend and took care of her yard so it wouldn't get out of hand, but I'm waving to my mom from a distance. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey, mom, don't come out the house. <laughs> so, yeah, we got, you know, and then we have my daughter, Ariel, who um, has an autoimmune disease. So, you know, it's just me, Bill, and Ariel in the house right now. Hi. Just because, so Marcia yeah, well, so we're all connected. Everyone is connected. We're all going through this, but at least we have each other to lean on. That's the great thing about this. Man, Tasha, Tasha. we may be socially distant, but I feel very close to y'all. Y'all like family. <laughs> Tasha, prayers for your husband. He's still working out there. He must be in one of those essential industries. And uh, we pray that he's completely taken care of and everything's going to be safe for him and you and your household. Taz Holden just tuned in. Taz, we're getting ready to go. Taz. Because we have to prepare everything for, um, for tomorrow's uh, digital release. So we're praying for all of you. Y'all hang in there. Um, remain hopeful. Try to turn the news off. Bertha Bless Wilson. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sonya Creel says, I'm shut in with my mom. With things I bet stir crazy. You sound like you're about a ready to audition for who threw mama off the train or something. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, everyone started looking at, at, at Sonya. Donna Sanderley is on here, our moderator. Thanks to our moderators, what? too. Y'all are just Bless. awesome. Bertha Bless Wilson turned the news off, Tracy. What? She's watching the Wheel she's of Fortune. Wa she's watching us. And the Wheel of Fortune. And the about Wheel of Fortune. Two minutes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you got to cut it off at some point, Heidi. I agree. Because she's like, she said she's doing it only for 10 minutes a day. She'll watch the news. Yeah. So we, we're going to get through this. Let's just, we can, pr let's pray for each other. Um, just know that you are in our thoughts and our prayers. And um, y'all keep us in your prayers, too. Hi, Loopy. She just got here. Loopy, you're going to have to watch the rewatch because we're getting off. <laughs> she says, I can't believe I missed you earlier. Oh, this was twice. Y'all probably like, I'm tired of y'all, Tracy and Bill on here. <laughs> okay, Marsha. Marsha says she's looking forward to the release tomorrow. Hey, you guys, those of you that like digital stamps, whatever, please be here tomorrow. The discount is going to be incredible. All right, y'all. Take care, and we will see y'all tomorrow. And bye, Shanita. Bye.